today I'm going to show you how to make this super nice bag. This stitch is the front and back loop single crochet. It's super easy to achieve. I hope you enjoy making this bag and let me know what you think in the comment section. I also have the written pattern available on my website. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this bag, I'll be using t-shirt yarn. I get this from the brand Hooked. I'll be leaving the link down in the description. And I'll be using a 6mm hook. You also need some stitch markers. To start this bag, you'll need to chain 25. And to be able to chain, you have to make a slip knot. So roll your yarn on your fingers just like this. Insert your finger underneath here and come grab this. Take off your fingers and pull. You can now adjust it to your hook and chain 25. So yarn over, pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and just repeat these steps until you have 25 chains on your hook here i'm done making my 25 chains now i'm gonna come and place stitch markers we're gonna put a stitch marker on the second chain in the front loop like this and you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Like this. Now we're gonna put back our hook. And now we're gonna go ahead and do single crochets all over until we reach our last chain over here. So we're gonna skip the first stitch here and do a single crochet on the second chain so insert your hook in the second chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and because this is our first stitch we're gonna put a stitch marker so we know that this is our first stitch and we're gonna continue to single crochets all over so insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So here I have one chain left and in this chain we're going to do an increase. We're going to do three single crochets in the same chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Insert your hook in the same hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And do one last single crochet in the same hole. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So here we have three single crochets in the same chain. And now we're gonna continue making single crochets until we reach this stitch marker here where we're going to increase again. So you can take off this stitch marker Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So I have now reached my stitch marker. We're going to take it off and we're going to make an increase. So we're going to make two single crochets in the same chain. 
so one and insert your hook in the same hole and two and because this is our last stitch we're gonna go ahead and put a stitch marker there so we know that this is where our row ends and we're gonna end off this first row with a slip stitch so we're gonna take off this first stitch marker here from our first stitch insert our hook there yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook now we're gonna chain one so now the next step we'll be using the front and back loop single crochet so in this second row we're gonna make front loop single crochets to do that we're gonna insert our hook in the front loop not in the back loop so insert your hook in the front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and we're gonna put a stitch marker on our first stitch here and we're gonna continue making front loop single crochets all around insert your hook in the front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so at the end of the row you're supposed to have 50 stitches so if you count from your first stitch marker to your last stitch marker you're supposed to have 50 stitches so we're going to continue making front loop single crochets and i'll see you guys when i reach my last stitch marker over here okay so i have one stitch left to make i'm gonna take off the stitch marker insert my hook in the front loop and make a single crochet and we're gonna put back our stitch marker in our last stitch to end row two we're gonna make a slip stitch so take off your stitch marker over here insert your hook where that stitch marker was yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook chain one and now for row three we're gonna do a row of single crochets but in the back loop so over here on this third row we're not gonna insert our hook in the front loop but in the back loop So insert your hook in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Put your stitch marker in your first stitch. Insert your hook in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Back loop. So we're going to make back loop single crochets until we reach our last stitch marker over here. So here I've reached my last stitch. I'm going to take off the stitch marker, insert my hook in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to end off row three by doing a slip stitch. So take off your stitch marker here insert your hook yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and chain one and now we're gonna go ahead and do front loop single crochets 
so we're always going to switch off by doing a row of front loop single crochets and then we're going to do a row of back loop single crochets so now we've completed three rows and we have a total of 16 rows so we have 13 rows left to make are we switching from the back loop single crochet and the front loop single crochet so now we have to do the front loop single crochet so you insert your hook in the front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and put your stitch marker back in your first stitch forgot to put it back on my last stitch here so i'm going to continue this row with you i'll show you one last time how to end off a row So this row is row four and we're making front loop single crochets. So I have one stitch left to do before I finish row four. So I'm going to take off this stitch marker, insert my hook in the front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and put back my stitch marker in the last stitch and we're gonna make a slip stitch and chain one so this was the end of row four row five is going to be back loop single crochets so so far we have four rows and we have 12 more to go so row five is back loop single crochets so you're gonna insert your hook in the back loop and make a single crochet so i'll see you guys when i'm done doing my 16 rows so here i'm done doing my 16 rows so now what we're gonna do um after you're done making your last slip stitch you're gonna pull some yarn and you're going to cut it and now we're just going to pass it through the first stitch of the 16th row like this and you can um, weave in this little tail inside of your bag I always weave in all of the tails at the end of a project and now there isn't a lot left to do what we're gonna do now is the strap so you're gonna take your work and look at it upwards like this and as you can see you have a stitch in the middle here and a stitch in the middle over here so that's where we're going to attach our strap you can put stitch markers if that helps you just like this so now I'm going to take this stitch marker off and insert my hook where that stitch marker was. I'm going to take some yarn and pull it like this. And now I'm going to chain 70. And you might want to adjust this number for you. So because I have a very stretchy yarn, um, it's going to look like the strap is super small, but once you're going to put some weight in your bag, the strap is going to stretch out. So it's better to, for me to make a, um, a smaller strap because it's going to stretch. But if your yarn isn't stretchy, you can chain a bit more. So you're just going to take your yarn and chain normally.
So continue that until you have the desired number of chains and I'll show you how to connect it on the other side. When you're done chaining, you're gonna take your bag and take off the stitch marker here. You're gonna insert your hook in that stitch and you're gonna yarn over and pull through and pull through again like this then you're going to pull some yarn and cut this and we're gonna pass this little tail in that hole just underneath here And we're going to weave that in inside of the bag later on. So we have one strap done. I like the look when there's two little straps. If you like it with just one, you can just leave it up like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna take my hook and insert it in the same hole. Pull through some yarn and chain 70 again. Now that I'm doing my 70 chains and we're just going to repeat the exact same steps. So insert your hook in the same hole here, yarn over, pull through, and pull through, and then pull some yarn. and cut it. And I'm gonna pass this little tail on the other side. Just like this. And now the last thing we have to do is just weave in all of these little tails inside of the bag so this is the final result i hope you enjoyed making this bag let me know your thoughts in the comment section and yeah don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe too thank you so much for watching see you guys next time